Hey everyone and welcome to Morning Guides, a YouTube channel that main goal is to make you better at editing. As you probably know from the title or the thumbnail, in this one I'll be talking about stabilizing and everything you need to know about it. So let's begin. So I'm having a 10 seconds long footage right here, on which you can see it's very shaky and unstable. And also this footage was recorded by a hand care camera, so it's not so stable. So I will make it stabilize just with a few clicks and also explain to you everything you need to know about stabilizing in DaVinci Resolve. So when we select the video footage and we go to the inspector, we see that we have a stabilizing panel. And just before we begin, we also have a color page on which if you go there, you can click on that icon and select the second slot. You also have a stabilize option, but I'm not gonna talk about this one. We're gonna go back in the edit tab and apply the stabilize effect from there. Okay, we're back at the edit page and now let's look at the, each of the elements here. First, we're having a stabilize button, which we need to press when we set up everything and let DaVinci know that this should apply to the custom stabilize changes that we made. Basically, every change that we make in the stabilize panel should end with pressing the stabilize button so that it can be applied. Next up, we have modes, which are perspective, similarity and translation. The translation mode is working only on X and Y axis so it is very limited and if there is somebody that doesn't know what xy means it is the movement up down left right and it will stabilize without panning rotations or perspective the second one which is similarity goes with pan tilt x and y and zoom while perspective is doing for everything that the other two does plus perspective so the perspective mode is the strongest one similarity is the middle ground and the translation is, let's say, the weakest from these three. So let's first try with the translation and I'll also turn the camera lock on and see what's gonna happen. And that will basically remove all of our options in the stabilized panel. And that is because that tells DaVinci that our footage was recorded on a tripod and that it should not move at all. And I will turn this off, of course, because this was not a tripod, it was a handheld camera. Next one is zoom and I'll come back to it later when I'm done with the other settings that I have here. One of them is the corping ratio which basically is how much DaVinci Resolve will allow to corp from the video while it is stabilizing. So let's make our viewer bigger, press stabilize and see what happened. First we're gonna see how it's running with the translation mode. When you press stabilize you will see this analyzing window, it's nothing scary, it will take just a few seconds before it's finished. Now let's see what we have with translation mode. So just as I said in the beginning the translation does not do rotations and that is why the reason we still have a shaky footage which is not so nice. So now let's do it with similarity which is the second mode that we have and of course I'm pressing the stabilize after I select the mode so that it can apply the changes and let's see how it looks. And it looks a little bit better, you can see that it removed the rotation problems but it is still not clean as you might expect so let's move to the perspective mode. So I have switched it to perspective mode and you can see that it looks much much better. We have this halfway result by setting it on perspective mode and then pressing stabilize button. But what more can we do to further improve it? So in order to make additional improvement, I'm going down in the settings and I see the corping ratio, which is basically telling DaVinci how much is allowed to corp from the video while stabilizing it. So as you can see right now, if we move it all the way, the corping ratio to the left, we have a little bit of corping. And if we move it all the way to the right side and stabilize, we have less corping, but more movement. And basically we don't have any stabilization that way. So my suggestion for the corping ratio is to keep it on the left side. The next option that we have is to adjust the level of smoothness. It is working on a bigger movement. So let's move it all the way up, stabilize it and see what we have. But we still have some blurry glitches right here in the back of his head. I am not sure that if you're gonna see it, but that is just the case when the strength is coming in. And basically the strength option is working on the smaller elements of the video which is the blurry moment happening on the back of his head. So now you're seeing it running it down without any strength or actually a value of minus one on the strength. And now you're gonna see the video that is gonna be strength on plus one, which is all the way to the right. And also I'm gonna reduce the smoothness just a little bit, which in my case is about a quarter. And as you can see, we're getting a really, really good video material right here, which is stabilized properly. So just to recap with the last options, the smoothness is correcting the larger moves and the strength correcting the smaller details. So in most cases, a great work will be using the perspective mode, although it will eat up some of your frame, but that is in order to make it not shaky and smooth. And lastly, I'm going back to zoom as I promised. 
always keep the zoom turned on, otherwise you will end up having a footage looking like this one. Also you can watch this video right here, I'm pretty sure you're gonna like it. If this video was helpful, make sure to like it, comment if you have any suggestions or feedback and see you in the next one.